This video is brought to you by Squarespace. That looks really weird. Oh, this looks like crap. <laughs> I don't know, I might use this. You know what's fun? Reacting to things. And that is what we'll be doing today with some of the new Photoshop 2022 features. Now, we'll only be going through some of the really big ones, the crazy ones, the dramatic ones that are completely changing the game for photographers. So just know that there are lots of other ones that we will not be talking about in this video, but if you're a photographer and that's why you clicked on this video, you're in the right place. I haven't tried these out yet, okay? So I'm gonna be learning alongside with you on how these work, how to apply them, put some photos aside that I think will be good test subjects for this, and let's be wowed, shall we? <laughs> the first one is automatic auto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first feature we're gonna go through is called automatic selections on hover. Do you like that I keep saying automatic? In my mind, there are two subjects in this image. We have the lighthouse and we have me. So from what I've seen so far, I have to find the object selection tool, which looks like this. Please click that. Then as you hover, if you hover over the different subjects in your image, it will highlight them and it is doing that. Yay. Okay, there's something else that I wanted to try and it's called mask all objects. So if you go into, is it layer? Right here, this new button called mask all objects. If I click that, it's taken both of the subjects in the image, so me and the lighthouse, and it's created little layer masks for them. That's cool. Now what? Let's say I want to brighten just myself. Oh! What, what can we do to the lighthouse? We could make it saturate it. Look, I can make it all different colors. It's like a toddler playing with Photoshop, guys. <laughs> let's go to the next one. Landscape mixer neural filter. Next, let's look at the landscape mixer. Okay, I get it. Filter, neural. Josh and I had a big debate about this. Is it neural filter or neural filter? Comment below. Okay, so we're gonna go to landscape mixer. We're just gonna toggle that dude on. And then we can pick any of these preset landscape themes. Okay, so it's clearly summer in this. So why don't we go for something really dramatic and pick this like winter theme, processing, things are happening. How good is this gonna be though? That's what I wanna know. Like how much can you actually make? That's winter. That is straight up. That is a snowy ass mountain. That is not too shabby. Okay, I wanna try one more. What if it was like warm sunset, pinky vibes processing? Oh my, that's a completely different photo. Like, did you even need to be there at sunset? This is like surprisingly great. Okay, if I upload my own image, I'll pick something completely different. So I have a bunch of examples that I put aside for this very reason. Okay, this one has a very interesting, like rocky landscape kind of vibe. It's from Alberta processing. Cause it'll be interesting to know if it does as good of a job with. That is a painting. That is a straight up, Something funky is happening with the cloud over here. But if you look past that, I could upload this and literally no one would know. They would just think I like put some cool effect on it or something. But honestly, some people edit their photos to look like that and this looks really cool. Like, I would definitely upload that. There's a, there's a little bit of weird stuff happening in the mountains up here. I'm also curious about if I raise this sunset slider, what happens? Okay, that doesn't look that good, but what if I bring it down more? All of this is, I know you have to wait for a minute, but all of this is happening like quite quickly, like quite fast, this became a sunset and like looks quite good. Cause what if you just use like the winter slider? That's just a slider. I don't know, I might use this. I can see I can see moments I might use this for especially the sunset kind of thing, or just to see if there's a cool effect. I don't know if I would make like a summer photo, a winter photo, but I could definitely see myself making something maybe more autumn or warming up a photo, giving it a different look, a little bit of a different, you know, lighting vibe. I could, I could see myself doing that. That is very cool. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our handy dandy neural filter category over here, and we're gonna figure out how to do some color transferring. 
we're gonna turn that on. And there's all these different presets over here. It basically gives you a look, like a stylized look or filter to your photo. You could either use the ones that are built in or you could grab your own custom one. So if there's like a scene from a movie that you like or another style of photo that's kind of similar to yours but maybe has different lighting, you could upload it here, play around with it, and then it would give you the same look. But for the sake of right now, let's try the preset ones. That looks really weird. That did not work at all. Let's try a different one. What about this blue one, blue feathers? I think I'm learning it needs to be a similar kind of scene. <laughs> oh, this looks like crap. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's not bad. I don't know if I'm satisfied with these results. Thank you for your feedback. The filter made the image worse. <laughs> I feel like this was trying to be, you know that feature in Premiere where you can set a reference clip when you're color correcting and then match the color of that previous clip? I think that's what they're trying to do with this. It's just not good. Or I could be doing something incorrectly, which I'm very open to someone telling me in the comments. You enjoying this video? Cool. Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. Next. Harmonization. Harmonize the color and luminosity of one layer onto another layer to make a flawless composite. Yeah, that's cool. I've been prepped that this one is cool. Photoshop. Neural filter. Okay, we have our background. Now let's go on Google. Let's use our handy dandy object selection tool. Well, isn't that just the plane? Here we are, plane, background, good to go. Now we're gonna go to filter, neural filters. We're gonna go to harmonization. We're gonna select a layer, which is this background layer. It's processing. Okay, I might apply it a little more. I'm also gonna make the plane smaller, okay? So let's just take a deep breath there. I feel like it needs a little more like warmth. I'm not mad at that. Let's make the plane smaller, because that's aw aw awfully distracting. <laughs> it looks like it's taking off, which I feel like is incorrect, because we're in the mountains. I think you guys get the gist. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty cool. Seal of approval on that one. Harmonization. 10 out of 10. Just maybe pick a better plane photo than I did. <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple new features. Well, they're not that new. They're 2021 new, so they're not 2022 new, but I haven't really played with them yet. So I thought it would be fun since the purpose of this video is to react to things. I'm doing a really bad job at importing photos, but like, do we care? Not really. So here's a picture of my face and we're gonna use the neural filter that makes me happy or sad or old or young. Cause I thought that would be funny to try. Okay, so let's try. That is my face. Good job, Photoshop. Just a little happy. Processing in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> why did my why did it do that to my woman? What if I'm really happy? <laughs> you should see it. <laughs> Do we think Chris will come in here if I ask him nicely? <laughs> Ew. Hey. Why do you look so uncomfortable? Hey. Oh no. I'm gonna pee. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why did it give you different teeth? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Why are your teeth different colors? They made you a <laughs> They made you a heck. What? Where? There's no way they tried to do this realistically. Okay, the there's also a facial age one. Yeah. <laughs> You're still really pretty though. Okay, here's the best one. You can change your eye direction, so I'll look. <laughs> eye direction? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. 
You look like that cat. The cat, the cat clock. Or the, oh yeah! Like this? There. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of these features were great. Some of them I probably will never use. But with that said, I think the landscape mixer, definitely a top 10 for me. The harmonization, very cool. Could definitely see that being applicable and making things just a lot more, a lot easier to use and a lot more intuitive for people who aren't good in Photoshop. <laughs> me. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. Big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you in the next one.